Yeah, we're great. Um, ready to go back. Where'd you go? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm nervous and believe and uh, confident. Brian's got three of them lined up. Uh, yeah. They say Belize is awesome. It's not my favorite place. No, we're going to go there. It's like closed. Yeah, it's, not, it's open back here. Okay. okay. Everybody uh, set back there? All right. Thanks. Coach? Well, good to see everybody. Like I said earlier. Um, good to be back in the swing of things as we get back going. So uh, yesterday, uh, we'll start with the uh, Sheldon Mickles injury report. Uh, yesterday, uh, Adam had his surgery. Uh, everything with the surgery uh, went uh, went extremely well. So that was, that, that was a positive. Uh, the doctors felt very good about things. I talked to Adam uh, late last night. Uh, it was about a five hour surgery, so it's a pretty, pretty long surgery. Talked to him late last night. He was still a little bit, uh, still a bit drugged up <laughs> when they put him to sleep. But he was, uh, he was doing well. He was in good spirits, and uh, we hope to have him back within the next three weeks, and we can kind of start the, um, uh, we can start the uh, rehabilitation process. It's going to be a, probably a, a, a six to nine month, uh, six to nine month process. I'm hoping it'll be closer to six to nine. But um, so that was good, you know. Um, Sharif and um, Justice have started running. They've started running on an on a Ultra G treadmill. And so I feel like they're making progress. Sharif's probably a little bit further along than Justice right now. And uh, we should uh, you know, hopefully have Sharif back to practice here about maybe the end of the week or, or, or first of next week. So um, that's really the injury. Everybody else is, you know, we got some nicks and bruises, but, but we're hopeful we should have everybody else back, back up and rolling. Um, you know, probably. Uh, the Monroe game, so ready to transition from preseason, get into season mode. Time to uh, yeah. you know, time to battle up on Tuesday night for real uh, against uh, against uh, against Monroe. And, um, so our guys are looking forward to playing somebody else, and we're excited about being back in the PMAC and, and um, you know having fans, having the students here. Um, should be should be a, a great atmosphere. So we sold just under seven thousand season tickets. We got about a hundred more ticket season tickets to go. Uh, to get to 7,000, which has really been our goal. So if you're thinking about buying season tickets, buy them. We need about 100, about 100, 110 more, uh, 110, 120 more tickets sold to get to, to get to 7,000, which has been our marker. So, um, you know, we'd love to, uh, we'd love to hit that number and put us, I believe, top five um, all time, in, you know, in, in PMAC at, at 7,000. Um, so that, that's kind of our that's our marker we're trying to hit, but we're excited to you know be back and have the students here and have the fans here Tuesday nights. It'll be a great atmosphere. Uh, should be uh, should be a lot of fun. If you had a question, raise your hand. We'll start in person first. You will know, explain to people what are you, what are you I guess curious about to see this team early in the season. What, what kind of like, what you want to see about this team? Well, we've you know we've had a couple. You know we we had the exhibition down at Nichols. We, had a close scrimmage, so I've got a pretty good idea of, of, of what we got. You know, I've got a pretty good idea. I think I've, I've you know, I'm going to talk to the team about it later this week. I've settled into a rotation. I feel comfortable with uh, with the eight guys that are going to be in the rotation. Um, I think all of them are going to get, you know, really good minutes and, and it be able to, to help us. So I, you know, I feel like I feel like we've we've settled in, and you know, I, I, you know, there's going to be some unknowns when we get in there to to, to, to game like situations. And, Hopefully this week we've yet to be able to practice with our top eight guys. Ever. We haven't had our top eight guys in practice one time, all of them available, ready to practice. Now, as of today, we have them ready to go today. So now something could happen between now and 3.15 and, and some go go haywire on us. But, but we, we, we finally, hey, Cobble. Hey. Um, <laughs> we got two point guards this year, Cobble. Um, but... Uh, uh, um, uh, where was I? Oh, we've got, um, <laughs> sorry, you threw me off. Um, but, uh, you know, I feel like we've made progress. We've got the eight guys, you know, we, we, we feel comfortable with those eight. And now we just got to go play. We kind of have an idea of what they could do based on the scrimmages and the, and the, and the exhibition game. 
and you know we just got to see how it uh, see how it comes together on game day. Yeah, uh, hey coach. I mean, obviously now with, with Adam out, I mean, just kind of how do you see that backcourt looking? Who are a few guys that you think are really going to kind of step up and kind of carry the load there? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we feel really good about about Benson and Gaines and Murray. I mean, all three of them are are guys who, who we feel great about. Uh, they've all played well in, in, in certain spurts, and they can play well off of each other. And that's really, you know, at this point, we're going to roll with in the backcourt. Depending on how Justice feels, you know, that's that's certainly a possibility. But our intention is to redshirt Justice. That's what we told him we do in recruiting. And if we can get through the season without having to use him, I think that would be beneficial to him, that'd be beneficial to our program moving forward. Um, but Justice is a team player. I think if we asked him, I think he, he, he'd he roll out there and play with us. But I don't think that's the, the move right now. We, we have unbelievable amount of confidence in, in Pence and Gaines and Murray and, and uh, the hard workers, the blue collar. Um, you know, we got more than enough back there to get the job done. Now we can't, you know, we, we can't sustain another another injury. Um, that, that would be problematic for us. But. With those guys, I think I think we've got uh, more than enough in that backcourt to, to figure it out. Well, you mentioned eight man rotation in the past. You seem like you try to use ten or eleven in non conference. Is this a little change because it was too many? Maybe. Well, I mean, the year we won the SEC, we had a really good eight man rotation. Last year, we basically had a six man rotation. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually early, I'm trying to figure things out, but I think we've just settled in. We got a ninth guy we can throw in there. Um, you know, we, we had a night guy we can toss in there if we need to. And, you know, when we get Sharif back, it's going to take him a couple of weeks probably to get back going and get back healthy. And so, you know, we, we've got some other options where we can expand that a little bit. But right now, I got eight guys I feel really good about. You know, all of them will play 15 plus minutes. Almost all of us, you know, probably seven of the eight will play 20 plus minutes, 22 plus minutes. And so I think, I think, you know, we'll have good chemistry in terms of just minutes distribution. I think everybody will feel good about what they're doing. You know how they're playing, how much they're playing. So there's some value in uh, there's some value in all of that. Everybody will know, hey, this is when you're going in. You know, I think we've got some value in all that. So upset, Glenn, that you weren't the first question on the press conference today. That was the biggest upset of the season. Was it injury related? No, I got the injury <laughs> part out of the way. You missed that. You were late. Yeah. Yeah. You were late. When, that's why they didn't have the first question. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Uh, I guess you know one of the you guys that you. You know, came to join y'all's program last year and kind of had the chance to absorb the college game was Alex Fudge. Just what are some of the strides you think he's made uh, in the last, I guess, during this offseason and how important he'll be to y'all's rotation? Yeah, he's in the rotation. You know, he's somebody that um, he was a tremendous athlete. That'll be the first thing that jumps off. It. I kind of look at him, you know, right now. He's going to continue to grow. He's going to be a great, great player now. I'm telling you, Des, he's going to be a phenomenal player. Um, but I mean, just he just turned 18 years old. He turned 18 in May. He got here; he was 17 years old. Um, so it's just a learning curve that comes with uh, comes with it. But he's kind of like Marlon in the sense that there's two or three plays a game. He's the only guy on the court on either team that can go get that ball. Um, he's just an unbelievable uh, athlete. Uh, you know, he makes plays around the rim. He keeps balls alive. He doesn't ever look overmatched around the rim. And so, you know, he's somebody that, that's definitely going to gonna, gonna contribute for us and somebody that can uh, that they can help us out this year. Hey, Coach. Um, obviously, with Tari, Darius, and Efton in the front court, just how do you feel about the versatility y'all have going against different teams and just what they can have? Yeah, I think our front court is, is tremendous. I think it's a huge, huge strength of our team. We haven't been able to say that very often. Um, I think all three of them are just – you know, we're going to find a way. I got. I've, I've been tinkering with this. We got to find a way to get all three of them out there on the court together too. Uh, we got to play those guys together. I mean, I want to I think one of the strengths of our team is our versatility. I was messing around with lineups where we have all three of them out, and we're huge. I was messing around with lineups where Wani Wilkinson was playing the five on offense, and we're playing really, really small. We're doing some different things. So, trying to. Trying to, you know, I kind of settled on the eight guys that I know we're going to roll in there. And now I'm trying to figure out the best way we can mix and match and, and get those guys out there. But two of those three guys are, you know, the way I envision it is two of those three guys are going to be on the court the entire time, basically rotating. And they're all three uh, great, great players. Um, you know, Days and, and, and Tari have some experience. You know, Tari haven't played at Cincinnati last year. Just a, a, a rugged, rugged player, very, very talented player. And he wants to be, he just wants to be so good. He's, he's got a great desire to learn and, and, and to be great. He was 
peppered me with questions for an hour and a half yesterday on, on different things. It was an off day. He was, he was just peppering me with questions. So he's, he's just, he's, he, he, he's, he's really locked in and, and, and uh, you know, he's really worked hard and improved and, and days, you know, you guys all know about days. And Efton, you know, he's a, he's a huge weapon. We got when he's in there, we got to throw that ball into him. I mean, he is a, he, he's a weapon and a half down there and, and he can, um, you know, he makes the right play. He's one of those, he's one of the most unselfish. He's our, one of our best talkers. Um, he just has so much value that, that, that he brings, uh, that he brings to the team. Coach, you brought up Darius Days. It seemed like last season your team went with how Darius played. What does it mean to you to have him come back this year? Oh, I tell you, I mean, I, I got, uh, you guys know me, I'm not the most emotional cat you've ever met, but uh, I got emotional talking about another day with the team. And he's just, you know, he's been through a lot with us. You know, people forget now. And we've been, you know, if I, if I, if I, you know, we weren't very good when we got here. And he believed in us before there was a whole lot to believe in. Like, he he, he signed up and he was a top pick. Like, he's a really good high school player. And he signed with us before, you know, before there was a whole lot to, you know, we, we were selling a dream, a hope and a dream and a prayer, really. And 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 he, you know, he, he came here and, and for him to be here four years and, just his maturity, his leadership. Uh, it was funny the other day. He's in our leadership group. We have leadership meetings on Thursday mornings. There's three, he and him and two other guys. It's, this is how you know he's been here too long. But uh, he was. Uh, we, we flashed some pictures up on the screen, and he was telling me, "I said, I knew Coach was watching us on this. I knew Coach was taking pictures of this. I knew Coach was gonna gonna jump us about this." I said, "Well, if you knew all this, why did you change? Why did you keep doing this if you knew this?" But, but you know, he just knows how I think. He knows what I'm about. He knows what I'm looking for. And that was just a subtle example. But, he, you know, he, he, he's able to translate things for the team. Hey, this is what, you know, this is what coach really means by this. This is why coach is not excited about this. Coach knows what, you know, he's able to really help us and translate things for the rest of those, uh, for, for the rest of those guys. And he's just tremendous player, tremendous leader. He's all about team. He loves LSU. He loves his experience here. And, uh, we're, we're very fortunate to have him uh, this year. Scott? <clears throat> hey, well, um, I noticed you didn't give me any grief for coming in a while after you started talking, but uh, now's your chance. If you, you know, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy to have you. We're happy to have you. Um, we got no restrictions at the PMAC. And we're ready to roll. Yeah, I, 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 that was your question last time we got a presser, right? Yeah, probably so. Um, your, your program has, has been able to not just succeed, but thrive over the past couple of years where there's been a lot of, let's say, distractions. Yeah. In a, lot of, in a lot of different ways. How do you think you, you've been able to do that? Well, we just narrow our focus. We can't worry about all that stuff. And I always tell our guys, the bigger the game, the narrower the focus. And so, you know, we just lock in on what we on what we have to do. We don't worry about, you know, you guys can probably tell, I don't really care what people think. Uh, that doesn't bother me very much. Uh, it doesn't bother my guys very much. Um, you know, we're pretty insulated over here from everything that goes on and, and we just lock in and focus on our team and and, uh, and, and and focus on winning. And at the end of the day, it's about winning. And, you know, we've won. You know, we're the winningest program the last three years. We're the only team in the league to be in the top four, you know, the last three years. And, we're, you know, I think it's the first time in 34 years we've won NCAA tournament games back to back. So, um, you know, I mean, we got to win. And at the end of the day, everything else will take care of itself if you win. And that's what we try to focus on. We try to do everything we can to give ourselves the best opportunity uh, to win and not worry about the distractions. And truth be told, the distractions are usually, you know, stuff I have to deal with. Nobody else in the program really has to deal with the distractions. It's usually me that has to deal with it. I'm built for that. That's what we're good at. That's what we do. And our players don't even, they don't even know uh, most of the time. So, You mentioned maybe playing Milwaukee a little bit at the five. Is Darius days uh, days at the five over finally, or you? Could we got big Afton. I mean, I'm just talking about you know playing him at the five on offense, different positions on defense. Like we can, there's a lot of different mismatches we can take advantage of. You know, we're going to be different. It's not going to look the same as it's looked the last couple of years. Um, it's just not. You know, we're we're going to be very different. Um, but it doesn't mean it's going to be any less effective. Uh, it's just going to look different. And so we're gonna, we've got to, um, you know, we got to change some of the lineups, change some of the things that we do. We can't just do the same old. We can't just trot out the same old stuff because um, it's not going to work. 
uh, as effectively as it's worked. And so, you know, I think I think moving and wanting around is somebody who's just he's just rock solid. He rock solid. He plays so hard. You go back and watch that Nichols scrimmage, um, for the Nichols exhibition. I mean, that's as hard as I've had a kid play since we've been here. He was all over the place on both ends of the floor. I think he scored eight ten points, but I mean his his uh, impact is 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 tenfold of that. And so you know, we need to have him on the court. How can we maneuver him around and have him on the court? And I feel like we've got to have Eason on the court. We've got to have, you know, we got to have certain guys on the court. So how can we maneuver our lineups around and get these guys on that court um, so we can put everybody in the best situations to be successful and put our team in the best situation. And, and along those same lines, what what does it say about Darius that he did that willingly for I guess two or three years to play five? When he's undersized and whatever. Yeah, I mean, he's just a he's a warrior, man. He's a team guy. He's a warrior. He'll do whatever you ask him to do. And you know, I tell our staff all the time, like we can't take him for granted. Like he's got such a great attitude. He's fired up every day. So positive. You can't take that for granted. Like just how he is. And, and um, you know, he's totally he's totally in with what we're doing. He's totally in with with how we go about things. Everything we do every day. We get the workout in right now. That's where I came up to from here. Um, you know, he's just he just does the same thing every day. Very, very consistent. You guys know I like that. Don't bet against consistent behavior. So he's uh, he, he, he's that. All right, uh, Ashley, let's go to Zoom. We got it. Uh, I got him. Has a question. Okay. Today, but. Um, you mentioned the importance of, of Darius got of Darius days a couple times throughout this whole deal. Um, but you know, looking back on it specifically, what are some of the things he's done to help you? Because you look at this roster and it's a, a lot of new moving pieces, a lot of new guys that you're trying to really acclimate into this program. Well, I think you know the first thing he's done is he's a leader, he's part of our leadership group. You know, he set the tone and set the standard for what the other guys, you know, for what we, you know, for what we do, how we go about things, what we're about. So I think that's the I think that's the, the, the first thing he does. You know, he sets the tone through his work ethic. You know, nobody's gonna outwork him. He's one of the hardest workers we have. He's he's really talking more and being more engaged with his talking defensively. And so he's helped us, you know, what I think is improved defensively. We'll see how it looks on Tuesday night. Uh, but I, you know, I think he's helped us there. He's obviously a tremendous, tremendous rebounder. He's the best rebounder we have. Um you know, coming back and, and so, you know, we've got we've added some other good rebounders. Eason's a dog on the glass. Uh, 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 you know, Efton goes up there and grabs his rebound. I told you Fudge can get two or three a game and Wani's really challenged him. Wani, you know, we told Dub he's gotta he's gotta get better with the defensive rebounding. He's been grabbing five and six defensive rebounds in, in these exhibitions and stuff. So um, you know, I think I think all that stuff is, is things that Days has, has brought to us and certainly helped us with. Michael. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I've got a list. <laughs> Notes. We're going to talk to Xavier uh, after you. Uh, what is it about his game or his persona that you really enjoy? I love X. Um, you know, the best thing is he's got a calming influence to him. He's just, he's been through it. He's very calm. Uh, he's a great teammate. Um, he, he, he's just got a great way about him. Uh, our, team, our team loves him. Like our guys love him, and you know he's, you know he set the tone with work ethic. I've said this before, you know, good teammates work out, great teammates work out, bring somebody with them. And there's not a time he doesn't bring somebody with him. Now usually in the summer it was in Wani. He'd have Wani up at six in the morning with him, come in here and work. Um, and he's brought some, you know, he brought Gaines along with him, which is not easy to do. You and Gaines are, in theory, competing for minutes, and he he brought Gaines along with him, and, and, and Gaines is now joined the joined the crew. And, you know, that says a lot about him. He knows it takes more than just one guy to win. And and, and he understands that. He's just got a very mature way about him. Um, you know, in a, in a short amount of time, we've built up a lot of trust. Um, and, you know, somebody that's, that's obviously a very talented player, a very good player, but just got a, a real calming uh, influence to him on the court and, and with our team. He's just, you feel like he's in control when he's out there. You said it's going to look different this year. Is that because of the roster, or is that because you guys have improved holistically, whether it's coaching, philosophy? Or no, I just think you know we've been we've been. Um, I mean, Ken, you've been at both. I mean, we're going to look a lot different. 
I don't know. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's just different. Um, and I, I don't want to say it's, it's just more kind of blue collar, gritty, grimy, just, it's not going to be maybe aesthetically pleasing. You know, we're not going to trot out there and, and, and score a hundred points. And, and I mean, there's, you know, it's just going to be, it's going to be a little bit more, um, you know, we're going to go through some scoring slumps, but we're going to be able to get some stops and some rebounds. We're going to have some toughness to us. We're going to have some, um, we're going to have some, you know, we just got some different, it's going to be different. doesn't mean it's going to be any less effective. Um, in fact, it could be more effective. We just got better cohesion. We got better rhythm. Um, and, you know, we're just, we're just, we're scrappier. Um, we're more competitive in, in, in some places. Um, and, and it's just, you know, we're going to have to, it's just, it's just different. It's going to look different. People, when you leave there Tuesday, you're going to go, that's, that's, that's very, very, that's very, very different. Um, but it's, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. It's kind of like, it's more along the lines of what we did at VCU. Um, it's much more along those lines. I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with this. I mean, we're going to sling that ball in the post. We're going to sling that ball in the paint. Uh, we're going to be just relentless on the offensive class. I mean, you know, it's just going to be, we're going to still run the score up now. We're going to still score some points. It's just going to be different. Is it more of a lunch pail thing? Yeah, just more blue collar, gritty. Um, we're going to do a lot of the little things probably quite a bit better than we've, than, than we've done them. Um, just, you know, free throw blockouts, free throw up, just little stuff that I really care about that, that I think we're going to be much better in those areas. Is that commitment or better basketball IQ? No, it's just kind of what we have to do. It's the guys have, I've, I've explained to them why we got to do it. They're just more, you know, we could get away with a lot of stuff the last couple of years. <clears throat> just get away with being sloppy in some areas and not being as good in some areas. And we got talented kids, man. We got good guys. I mean, you got those a bake sale. I'm not acting like we're not. I mean, we, we got we got good players. Um, we got really good players. Uh, but we're just we're just more in tune with some of the details and some of the little things. And and, and I think days and, and Penson have really helped, you know, back up what I've said and how important some of these some of these aspects are to winning and winning at a at a high level. And finally, has Kim helped you? Uh, you know. Spruce up the joints. And, you know. Well, she spruced up her side. <laughs> her side looks great. Um, uh, um, but uh, no, we're we're certainly uh, we've spoken. We're on the same wavelength that where we need to go facilities wise. Uh, Scott, Stephanie, Verge. I think everybody's on the same wavelength. We've been meeting with Populous, who's come in and done a great <laughs> job. Um, something's coming soon. Sooner rather than later, and it's going to be big. It's going to be bold, and it's going to be great. So, um, I'll let other people talk more about that. But yes, there's there's going to be there's going to be significant uh, enhancements to every part of the program. Is that an architect firm? Yes. I, well, they're based uh, they're based in St. Louis, right? Yeah. They they do sports. Arenas, consulting, they've come in. I mean, they've looked at everything. It, it was, it's as thorough. They spent a week here. I mean, it's as thorough. Of, they're going to come up, you know, with the strategic plan and all, you know, all, they have all the buzzwords that y'all like, but, um, you know, the rubber is going to meet the road. They're, they're, they've got, you know, they're doing some studies on what to move where. And, and, you know, I mean, part of it is the reason we're in here is we're converting the old media room into a weight room. So we're finally going to get out of the football stadium. That's a, Huge first step. We don't have to, you know, we can't get rained out on our lifts now. You know, the range you got to, we, we can't get over the, you know. So I mean, we, you know, we, we, that's a huge first step is getting that done. And so we're, that that'll be done by by middle to end of this year, and, and then we, you know, then uh, we can that that'll just get us through. And I, I, I appreciate Scott and Stephanie and Birch and, and Matt Laborde, all of them, you know. I said, look, we got to do some stuff just to get us through to when we can make the major changes. Like they're willing to spend some money just to get us to where we're going to need to get to to make some major, um, some major changes, which we're certainly going to happen, you know, sooner rather than later. That's your quota of questions for me. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Go ahead, Coach. You mentioned um, Eric Gaines when you were talking about Xavier. What have you seen from him this offseason, and what kind of role do you think he'll play? Especially now with um, Adam Outlaw. He's going to play a huge role. He's going to play a huge role, you know, without 
without uh, even even you know if we had Adam, he was going to be a huge part. But one thing is Keynes is is, is is taking things a lot more seriously. He's a lot more locked in. He's an unbelievable talent. He's got elite, elite, elite speed. I mean, there's not 10 players in college basketball that are quicker than him. He can get the ball from the other end of the court to the scoring area in about two and a half seconds. And I mean, it, it is, it's, it's something to behold. Um, and so, you know, we've got to get him playing a little bit more under control. Um, defensively, though, he's an absolute menace. He had the most deflections in one of our scrimmages, well, our scrimmage. He had the most deflections we've ever had from a player here in one game. He was all over the place. He's covering down and getting out. I mean, he, it looked like there were two of them out there. He was moving around so fast. He's just got quick twitch. Um, you know, he, look, he is, he is who he is. He's going to make some unbelievable plays, and I believe in him, and I love him. He's going to make some great plays. He's going to turn the ball over some. Like, he's just high risk, high reward. That's who he is. We knew that the day we signed him. I knew that when I watched him go play in high school. Like, I knew what we were getting. And I'm good with that. Now, we got to try to cut that down a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm all about, you know, seven assists, two turnovers instead of seven assists, four turnovers, or seven assists, three turnovers. In, in this you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to keep it manageable. But, I mean, you know, he's going to have games where he has five, six, seven steals a game. Um, you know, he's going to, he's going to, you know, he, he can just, he's just disruptive. Um, and, you know, like I said, talking about our new look, like we're really trying to push the pace more. We're trying to get some easy baskets. I feel like we need to get some easy baskets because we're not going to be able to manufacture maybe as much in the half board as we've been able to off of mismatches and ISOs and stuff like that. So, you know, he's a huge part of pushing the ball. Like he's got to get the ball downhill, get the ball in a scoring area. We're trying to pitch the ball ahead. Like we've got to play faster. We need to get 10 to 12 points in transition, 10 to 12 easier points a game so we just don't get bogged down in the half court. He's a huge component to that. Have we got time for one more? Uh, Brandon Murray, I talked about him. What does he contribute? Uh, I've talked to different players and they say he's really, really good for our freshman. What players have you talked to who said that? <laughs> uh, Barry said that, Milwaukee said that. They're right. They're right. No, Murray's, Murray's a good player. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's somebody who's going to, he's going to, you know, we believe in him. He's going to step up big. He's the one who, you know, is going to step up big with Adam. He's, he can make shots. He's physical. He's rugged. He's rough. He's, you know, he's an older kid. He went to, he went to a post-grad year uh, coming out of Poly in Baltimore. Uh, he's an older guy. He's more mature. Um, he's just, you know, he's, uh, he's about his business. You know, I like that about our team. Like, we've got a lot of basketball guys. Like, they love basketball. They're about basketball. They're about handling their business with basketball. Not a lot of, not a lot of other interest. And Murray's like that. He's, just, he's tough. He can make shots. He can guard. He can rebound. He's a big, physical, different. He's not as kind of sleek and, as we've had. He's big and physical and can just, um, can just make things happen. So he's going to be, he's going to be, uh, very, very good for us this season. All right. Coach, thank you. All, All right. right. Darius and just a moment. We'll see you at practice. Huh? We'll see you at practice. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs>